Hey dolls! So as you guys know, I got back from California. I went to a few places. You guys have seen my vlogs. If you haven't, I will link the playlist right here. So if you want to see my videos about going to the Hello Kitty Cafe in Irvine, going to Disneyland, going to California Adventure, going to Lush Cosmetics because I had never been to a Lush before, a Cheesecake Factory, all that stuff. Stuff. my little follow me around little vlog videos are up on my California or Disneyland playlist uh, it'll be linked on the screen and I'll link it in the description box below but you guys requested that I do a haul video of all of the stuff that I got and I had planned to do that before I even went so here I am back with all of my goodies so I guess the first thing I'm gonna start out with is the stuff that I got at Hello Kitty Cafe because that was like the first place that I went uh, a lot of the stuff that I did buy throughout my entire trip was sweet and food from many different places so I can't like show that to you guys but if I got it uh, you'll probably see it in the vlogs maybe okay so the Hello Kitty Cafe is in the Irvine Spectrum Center and here's one of the bags that they gave me I have a couple others as well uh, I also got these little gift boxes they gave me two of them which are very cute these will be awesome to just kind of display uh, I didn't have to pay extra for these they just gave them to me with my purchase so that was pretty cool those are a fun little keepsake to have and then they gave us napkins that have Hello Kitty Cafe on them which again these would be really cute to kind of just like cut out and put in a little scrapbook or to kind of just cut this out really cutely and frame it and put it up on the wall or something you know just a little something to keep as a souvenir and then the things that I actually bought were two of these Hello Kitty bow water bottles they came filled with water and these were about three dollars a piece so I got two of them because I figured I could drink the water on my trip which you guys saw in the vlog and that I could keep these water bottles and reuse them because I take a water bottle with me every day that I go to work and so this would be perfect for that or just travel in general I always had one of these filled up in my backpack when I went to Disneyland um, so that my mom and I would always have access to water whenever wherever we needed it so these were very helpful again and they were super cheap considering how cute they are so I got two of those and then I got the birthday cake which you guys saw that I ate on camera with my mom and then I also got a strawberry mint lemonade which I had and then my mom had a like strawberry shake smoothie type drink so uh, I'll link that vlog right here so if you guys want to go see our trip to Hello Kitty Cafe you are more than welcome to uh, and then I also got this sugar cookie I'm so happy it didn't break in shipping um, like putting it in my luggage and then go coming back home it didn't break during travel so I was very happy about that but it just looks like this it has sprinkles all over it and it is just a classic sugar cookie that is shaped and looks like Hello Kitty honestly you guys I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat this I might oh it did get cracked there's a little tiny crack on the bow but it's like barely noticeable like you can push it back together I might just save this for like a month or two and then eat it later just kind of as like a little remembrance thing I'm so happy that it didn't get completely shattered I was scared that it was just gonna break into a million pieces when I was trying to get it home but if that's the only little crack that it has I'm impressed and relieved so got that and then this is where a majority of my money was spent I got a t-shirt and this was $25 and it's just pink it doesn't say Hello Kitty Cafe anywhere on it which is one thing I was kind of sad about it says it on the tag but no one really sees that part you just kind of see this um, and they were all out of smalls so I had to get a medium so it's a little big on me but that's fine I don't care I can tuck it into some high-waisted shorts or wear it as a PJ top whatever I knew as soon as I saw it I had to have it though because it's just so cute and again I it's just a souvenir and there's little macarons and donuts and cupcakes all over it and 
I just die. I die every time I see things about the Hello Kitty Cafe and I had been wanting to go there for so long and I'm so happy I was able to. Unfortunately it was only like a pop-up cafe so there wasn't really, it wasn't like a whole building dedicated to it or anything. It was just like a little pop-up trailer thing. Um, but it was still amazing regardless because I had only seen it on, you know, people's YouTube videos or on Instagram and to be able to actually go there was really cool because I've been a huge fan of Hello Kitty for so long. Next place I'll go ahead and show you guys. This was where we ate the first night that we went to Disneyland. We went to the Rainforest Cafe in downtown Disney and I only got one thing and it's probably kind of dirty because I wore it like every night to bed while we were there because it was just so big and fluffy and not fluffy but it was so big and just nice. Um, this is a t-shirt and it is pink. It just says Rainforest Cafe, Downtown Disney. And they only had one of these and it is in, I think a large. It's either a medium or a large. I think it's a medium. I don't know. I don't see the, I don't see the, uh, the, 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 the size on here. But I think it was a medium. It's pretty big though. But it was on the clearance rack for 10 bucks, originally $25. So I was like, it's pink. It's too big for me, but I don't care because I'll use it as a night shirt and I couldn't pass it up for 10 bucks. I mean, it was a cheap $10 souvenir that I'll have for years and years and years. So yay. And that was my first time ever eating or going to the Rainforest Cafe anywhere. Um, I know they have them various different places like all around the country, but uh, that's the first time I'd ever been to one. So I was excited about that as well. This trip consisted of so many firsts for my mom and I. It was so fun to be able to just kind of go wherever we wanted and do whatever we wanted and just experience things for the first time. Such as Lush. I went to Lush for the first time because I think the nearest Lush that we have where I am is like four or five hours away, like in Seattle probably. Portland might have one, I'm not sure. But I think Seattle and Portland would probably be the places to have it if they do. I don't know if they do or not. Who knows? But I went to Lush in Anaheim and I only got two things for myself and then I got a few other things for my family members. So the first thing that I got for my sister, hopefully she'll have had this by the time this video is up so it doesn't give it away, but it is Rub 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 Shower Scrub and you open it up and oh my goodness you guys, she likes uh, like blue raspberry stuff. And that's kind of what it smells like. It smells like a like frilly kind of powdery blue raspberry. It's got kind of a feminine scent to it. But it's just like a shower scrub and it's really pretty and blue. And I'm getting it everywhere. But I just got that for her because um, she doesn't really use lotions and things like that. And she doesn't use bath bombs. So it's like, oh, shower scrub. That'd probably be good. And then also this passion fruit lip balm. I got this for my sister or my niece is basically just whoever wants it to use it. It smells so good though. It smells like candy. I love it so much. My favorite products from Lush are the bath bombs and the lip scrubs. So I had to get myself a new lip scrub. Um, I had been using the bubblegum one for like ever and it was time for me to get a new one. So I tried this one. It is the Mint Juleps lip scrub and it just looks like this and it tastes and smells so minty and it's just delicious and I wanted to get this because when I had went to Disneyland we ate at the Blue Bayou restaurant inside the Pir Pirates of the Caribbean ride and I tried a mint julep for the first time ever. They have like a non-alcoholic one there and I tried it and it was so good. I fell in love with it and so when I saw that they had a mint julep type uh, lip scrub. I was like, yes, I want it. So I can like kind of have that minty taste to stay with me just as a little <sighs> remembrance of the times that I shared with my mom eating and drinking and having a ball. <laughs> okay. And then the three bath bombs I got, um, the one I got for myself, this is forever and always will be my favorite bath bomb from them. Uh, it is the Sex Balm, 
and it is just pink and purple and it has the rose in the center and it has little rose petals inside when it opens up and um, dissolves and everything and it smells like sugar so good I love this one and then the two other uh, bath bombs that I got for my nieces oh gosh this one is pouring glitter everywhere this one I think is something galaxy or something like that I'm not sure this one made a huge mess though um, but it didn't break so that's good I'm not sure what this one is called but it smells like really kind of smells like cedar wood which is weird like you wouldn't think that something like this smells so musky but it's not bad it's not horrible it's very pretty I think it said it had something to do with galaxies or something but I oh goodness put that away before it makes any more of a mess but I got that one for one of my nieces and then I got this one right here for my other niece and this one sorry for the loud packaging is the oh gosh that made a mess this one is the yellow submarine I'm not sure if you can really see it but it is just a yellow and pink submarine and it is a bath bomb as well but that is everything that I got from Lush so I just got a couple things for myself and then some stuff for my family okay and now all of the stuff from Disneyland and California Adventure this kind of just came from both of the parks in general so I have so many bags oh my goodness because I got a new bag every time I made a purchase okay so first and foremost we have this Shelly Mae plush <laughs> I love Duffy and Shelly Mae and I had it set in my brain that I wanted a Shelly Mae plush so bad when I went and I made a rule for myself that I was only allowed to buy one stuffed animal when I was there because I have a problem with stuffed animals I always buy way too many and then I have nowhere to put them because my bed is already occupied with all these plushies which you can't really see in the frame right now but there's a ton of plushies on my bed there always is and um, I saw this Shelly Mae bear plush in one of the shops in Disneyland but they also have them at California Adventure and she is so cute she came with a little hair bow that attaches to her ears and just so cute and then when I went into a shop along the pier in California Adventure I saw this Lady and the Tramp lady costume specifically made for the Duffy and Shelly Mae bears. They also had Tramp so I thought it would be really cute to get Duffy and put him in the Tramp costume and then have Shelly Mae in the lady costume. But then I would be going against my only allowed to buy one plushie rule. So I figured this way instead of buying a lady plushie because I saw one that was very 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 cute in one of the stores I thought that buying the costume for Shelly Mae then that way I could get two plushies in one the little costume was like 20 bucks which was kind of ridiculous and the Shelly Mae teddy bear was around 25 um, so it's like $45 for this right here but when you think about it you pretty much pay that when you go to build a bear so kind of the same concept and I did buy both of these in the actual park itself which is a lot more expensive than you would possibly find it on eBay or anywhere else it was just kind of one of those things where I was in the moment and I saw it and I thought it was a really cute idea and I had to have it so you can see her little ears peeking through all take off her little hood right here so you can see her her head properly just like that and her bow sits right on top and she's just so precious I really wanted to get the Duffy plush too but I, I kept myself to that rule I told myself no you are not getting another plush just get one and stick to it they also had a few Marie plushes there but I do have a couple already so I was like no I want to get something different so Shelly Mae was set on my brain going into it and I'm so happy I found her next um, I'm gonna go ahead and show this even though I didn't buy this this on this trip my sister actually got these for me when she went to the park um, in April but I was getting a lot of questions on this this is a giant Minnie Mouse hair bow headband and you can buy these in the parks at Disneyland 
and California Adventure. So that is where you can buy these. They are also available. I think people buy them and then resell them on eBay for a little bit more expensive than what you pay for them. They're around $30, I think, but I keep saying they because I keep calling them ears, but they're not even ears. It's just like a giant hair bow. Um, but yeah, this is my mini bow that I wore practically every single day when I went to Disneyland and I kept getting so many questions on it so I figured I would answer that. This is just from Disney and then you can see um, it has lots of sparkles all over it. So cute. I also showed this in my live stream when I was packing for my trip. Uh, so if you want to see everything that I packed for the trip and all of my outfits you can check that video out as well. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the pins that I got. You guys know I have been collecting some Disney pins. Uh, the first, I got three new ones. So this one right here, it is uh, Minnie and Daisy taking a selfie in front of the castle, which I thought was very, very cute. So I had to get that one. And then this one right here, it is Lady and the Tramp, of course, with like the night sky and a little moon behind. Very cute. Had to get that one. And then this one, you guys. Okay, those two I saw in several of the different shops when I was in Disneyland and California Adventure. But this one right here, the only place I saw it, the one I'm about to show you, I only saw it when I was at the Little Min Green, Little Min Green, Little Green, Little, 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 little I can't speak, the Little Green Min store, right as you come off of the Buzz Lightyear uh, Astro Blasters ride, they usually, many moons ago, they had that whole entire store was just decked out in pins, but now it is only like one wall is just pins. There's still a ton in there, but it's just one wall instead of like all of the walls. <laughs> Um, but it wasn't until I was checking out and I walked up to the checkout desk or checkout counter and I saw this one sitting there like on a rack with two other Disney ones. I don't remember what they were because I was so intrigued by this one. But this is a 75th anniversary Bambi pin and I immediately grabbed it because Bambi is one of my favorite Disney movies. I had to have this one especially since it was the 75th annual like collector's edition. So pretty. This pin was like $18. <laughs> But I had to have it. It was one of those things where like I just saw it and it was one thing that I had to have because it was just so like near and dear and special to me. Um, this one that is the two girls taking the selfie, I think that one was about nine or ten dollars. And then the Lady and the Tramp one I think was eleven or twelve. So the Bambi one was definitely the most expensive one that I got, but I have zero regrets. It, it's one of my favorite purchases, honestly. And eventually I do want a want to do a DIY pin board so I can put all of my pins um, in a board on the wall. I plan to do a whole DIY video when I do that so keep an eye out. I don't know how long it's going to be till I get around to doing that because I still want to get a scrapbook and do all of my photos and everything like that for my trip and everything too. But uh, yeah, here's my Disney pins and when I do that DIY video I'll go through and like show my whole collection and all of that. What? Hello. Hello. Okay. Sorry about that. That was perfect timing. My sister and my niece came over, so I was able to give them their lush stuff. Um, anyway, moving on. Where was I? Oh, wait. Let me turn my backlights on. I forgot about those. All right. There we go. Oh, okay. And then my pins. Also, the first day that we were there, we went to the fire station at Disneyland, and we got the... Uh, celebration buttons where it says I'm celebrating and then the person at the fire station writes it in for you and this one is kind of all wiped off because um, we went on some water rides and it did rain so over time it got kind of wiped away but we got these to say breast cancer survivor for my mom on them so she had one and then I had one on my backpack um, I think I'll do clothing next I guess so, um, I got this t-shirt right here from the, oh, it's actually got some black staining on it from my sweatshirt that I got, which I'll show you guys in a second, but I got this shirt 
from our hotel gift shop and we stayed at the Best Western Plus Park Place Inn and Mini Suites which is the hotel that is directly across from the main entrance of Disneyland. It's basically as close as you can get without actually staying in one of the hotels in the parks. So that's where we always stay. It's so much better to just be so close and not have to walk like a bajillion miles or take a shuttle just to get back to your hotel. Anyway, I got this shirt. It is a little girl's shirt, so it's an extra large, but it says Sparkly Ever After, and it has the princesses on there. It has Aurora, Cinderella, Snow White, Belle, Rapunzel, and Ariel, and this is just so cute. I love how pastel it is, and I got this for like $11 because we got a discount because we were staying in that hotel, so I think we got a 10 or 20% off discount, so there's that shirt. And then this shirt I also got from a gift shop. This was from one kind of on the same street, but it was like the next hotel over. They had a little shop there that was kind of, up. it was separate from the hotel, but it was like right next to it. And this one just says Disney on it, and it has Minnie, Mickey, Pluto, Donald, Goofy, and Daisy. Again, pink, cute, sparkly, very much me. And this one was like, 14 or 15 dollars I think and then this one is one of the ones that I bought in the actual park I think I actually got this at World of Disney in downtown Disney which if you guys aren't familiar you have to pay to go to Disneyland and to California Adventure but downtown Disney is in the middle of both of the parks and it is completely free admission to go into and they have a giant Disney store there that has a lot of the same merchandise that they have in the other parks so you don't have to pay to go shop in the parks you can basically just go to downtown Disney and buy some of the merchandise that they sell in Disneyland or in California Adventure. So I saw this in there and I got it and it does say Disney Parks on it on the tag so I think you can get it within Disneyland uh, but I just didn't see it there. I didn't see it until I went into the World of Disney store. So it says happiest girl on earth and it has the castle right there. Again very cute pink definitely me. I had to have this. I wore this on the very last day. Um, I just love it. It's so cute. I think this was like $25 or $26. Again, it was in the little girl section, so, um, this is a, uh, this is a large. I think the extra large was a little bit too big, but yeah, so that worked out. I was able to get that one. And then the last clothing item, I posted about this on my personal Instagram, but, I got something black, you guys. Yes, I actually own black clothing items. And funny enough, I saw this one of the, I think it was either the first night or the second night when we were just going through some of the shops and I saw it and I was like, that is so cute, but it's so basic and simple. Do I really wanna spend my money on that? And then I looked at the price tag and it said $59.99. And I'm like, do I really wanna spend $60 on a basic black sweatshirt like is there a purpose to that they had other colors too they had like um a turquoise one and a coral one and like an olive green one and a white one but I really liked the black one and I didn't know why I liked it so much and it just stood out to me and it stood out to me and it stood out to me and then I kept seeing everyone have it on like everyone that was walking around they had one in whatever color and there were sometimes groups where they all had a different color of the shirt on and I was just like I kept seeing it on people and I'm like it looks so cute on like it looks so cute on these people and I wanted it so bad but I didn't want to spend $60 on it unless I really truly wanted it and so I kicked it around and I thought about it for like three days and then finally on the second to last day there or maybe it was the third to last I'm not sure exactly which but I thought about it for a few days and I caved and got it um, but it just looks like this it's just a bla basic black long sleeve shirt on the front sorry for the contrast in my camera so it has the D for Disneyland on the front and then it says established 1955 and then on the back this is what got me this is what really like made me want it so bad it just says Disneyland in huge letters across the back and I heard someone say that this is the Disneyland spirit 
a spirit jersey or something like that. I don't know if this is like a designated thing that people aim to get or what. Uh, fill me in in the comment section below because I haven't been to Disneyland in like nine years since this last trip. So I'm completely obli oblivious. Someone referred to it as the spirit jersey. So if this is the designated Disneyland spirit jersey, let me know because I am an official owner of one now. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. I got an extra small. Oh, it does! It says Spirit Jersey! Ah, it says it right in here! Here's the little tag section. It says Spirit Jersey right here. So, now I know. That is even cooler than it was before. So I'm an official owner of a Spirit Jersey. Uh, love it. <laughs> um, but this is an extra small because these are uh, unisex sizes. So that's why I wanted an extra small because you can see it's still huge on me. But you guys... I love it so much. I'm so happy I got it. I just, I'm obsessed with it. And then I ended up wearing it a couple nights when we were there, like during the fireworks show and the parade and stuff because it got kind of cold. So I brought that with me and I wore it. Now I'll go ahead and show you guys my little candy items I got here. I ate a lot of these already, but I went to the candy shop and I got um, dark chocolate almond clusters um that were just made there i believe i don't know 100 percent sure but i got those and then i got some simba cotton candy it says it is orange and lemon flavored i have not tasted this yet so you know what oh it smells good i figure i'll just taste it while i'm on camera mm, very citrusy yep not bad very orangey and lemony I don't hate it, but I love the little tub. I can reuse this for whatever I see fit. I love um, Lion King, so that was a cool kind of last minute purchase. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then I was like, oh, it's cotton candy. Yeah, I'll eat that. So I grabbed that and then um, I just got some taffies, like some saltwater taffies. I got Neapolitan flavor, cotton candy flavor, peppermint and I think this one is like vanilla cupcake or something like that but it's one of those things where they charge you by weight so you just fill up a bag with however many you want and depending on how little you get you can pay like a dollar for candy so that's really cool that's a very neat option but I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret just just so you know just so you know um i also got jelly beans they also had a huge variety of jelly beans and i had this filled probably about yay high and all i got was cotton candy and bubble gum flavors because those are the ones that i just really wanted um but i had it about so high and i think for like a quarter pound it's like 349 and then for like a full pound it's like seven dollars or something like that i don't know for sure but i'm gonna let you guys know right now um whether you were in the Candy Palace or you are in the uh, Pooh Corner store where they have all of the candy on that one side. Doesn't matter which store you are in. You could even be in California Adventure, I think, maybe. Um, if you see the jelly bean machines where you pull the little handle and it like dispenses out, be careful. I swear Disneyland has those things rigged to where if you pull down just a little bit, it's going to spit out a ton so that they can charge you more money for your candy. So just do it very slightly, like a little tiny bit at a time so it spits out a few pieces at a time rather than just like holding it down because it will fill up your whole bag in like three seconds flat. I don't know that from personal experience, but the person who was in front of me was doing it with several different flavors and it kept coming out so fast. And I thought in my brain, you know, that's how they get you to spend more money. They rig the machine so when you pull it down, it spits out so much more. So you have to spend more money on the candy, especially if they're little kids pulling down the handles and they don't know any better to lift it up quicker. So definitely. Keep track of that if you're planning on getting jelly beans or any candy that is dispensed. Um, just check yourself before you wreck yourself and get broke just on jelly beans. <laughs> okay, now hopefully I can get through the last few things before my camera cuts me off. But I was telling you guys about how we had um, lunch at the Blue Bayou restaurant inside the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. So I got one of these souvenir glowing ice cubes and you can see like it has a ton of different functions on it. It even has a function 
function where like it will change colors and everything uh, but I did get this with my uh, mint julep drink and I did pay a couple extra bucks for it but I figured this was a cool little um, souvenir I'm not sure if you can even see but it changes colors and you can just keep reusing this again and again and again so that was a fun little tidbit little knickknack that I got and just a couple more things um, I got this uh, pin at the same store that I got this Disney t-shirt from it is just a little yellow Minnie Mouse pin just looks like so you just pop the cap off very cute love that and then at the actual Disneyland store I don't remember which one it was but I got these two magnets this one right here is like the Bigfoot Marie so cute and again just a little magnet and then this one right here is beautiful it's just the castle and I loved this one so much because it's not ceramic it's just like pliable plastic so I if it falls off the fridge or gets dropped it's not going to shatter into a thousand pieces so this one was a very awesome purchase because you could see it's just made out of plastic and it's not heavy at all this would be something even cute just to stand on display somewhere in your home very precious I couldn't say no to that one and then the Marie one of course and then the very last thing that I got in Disneyland is this Marie mug. Here is the front, here is the back, or here's the front and here's the back, whatever you want to call it. This side is kind of like 3D, it kind of pops out, and then the back is just flush with the cup. The inside is a blush pink, and this was about $16, as you can see, $15.99. Very cute. I wanted to get one of these mugs for quite some time, so I'm so happy that I found one there. I love it so much. And while we are on the topic of Marie, the very, very last and final thing that I got, which you guys have seen in my vlogs, and if you haven't by now, surprise, I got a Marie tattoo on my thigh. And I got this done at Mi Familia Tattoo, located in Anaheim, about two miles away from my hotel. And I got it done by Sanai. Uh, she works there, and she does beautiful, beautiful color work. Um, I wanted someone to do this who could do, like, a pastel kawaii theme. And I found uh, Mi Familia through Google because I was searching uh, tattoo shops in Anaheim. Uh, and then I typed in Mi Familia Tattoo because it came up on the results. I typed in Mi Familia Tattoo on Instagram and then Sanai's account popped up. I will link her Instagram below. She had done a lot of like pastel kawaii Disney pieces and this tattoo had been in the works for quite a while. I had it kind of tucked in the back of my mind and I really, really, really wanted to get it while I was in California. And there's kind of like a whole like backstory on why I got it and what it symbolizes for me. It's not just a cutesy tattoo of my favorite Disney character. It's something a little bit more than that to me and I want to share that with you guys. So if you want to see a separate video just about my tattoo, about aftercare, about the meaning behind it, about the pain level, about everything like that, please let me know in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up and I will know to do that. I probably will do one anyway just so I can kind of share my experience and give you guys a little bit more backstory on it. But it's very special and near and dear to my heart so much and I'm honestly contemplating getting a matching piece of a different character on the other thigh whenever I go back because I am so pleased and happy with how well this one turned out. The colors are so vibrant, the details are so beautiful, it's healing so nicely, and I could not be any happier with it. I am so pleased and I am so elated to add this new addition to my body and this is now my third tattoo uh, for those of you who don't know I do have two other tattoos 
But again, this is kind of a haul video, it's not a tattoo video, so I'm not going to get too much into it right now. If you want to see a separate tattoo video, let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, before my camera dies, I'm sorry this was rushed, I'm going to let you guys go, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Also, let me know what you guys thought of all of my vlogs and my videos from my trip, and let me know if you've been to Disneyland or in the area, and what your favorite thing to do is there, what's your favorite thing to eat while you're there, what's your favorite ride to go on. Just leave all of your Disney experiences and stories in the comments down below and I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you.